Hey everybody, welcome to Gunny Sharp Talk. Gunny here. Sorry if this is a little jumpy. I'm trying to hold my phone and move around. Um, what I want to do today is give you a quick tech tip on how to blend. If I can get this to focus good enough. So if you see this tip here, it is, I don't know if it'll pick it up on camera, but it is slightly wider. The bevel is slightly wider than it is the rest of the way. So what I'm gonna show you how to do real quick, if I can get the phone still enough. Sorry about that. Um, I'm going to show you how to blend it real quick. So normally as you're sharpening, you're gonna allow the natural angle change. And, and first of all, for this to work, you have to clamp the way that I clamp. So the tip, parallel with the front of the clamp. In other words, if you drew a line from the pivot to the tip, that line is parallel to the front of the clamp, not from heel to tip. If that's how you sharpen, then that's how you sharpen. I'm not saying anything about that. I'm just saying for this to work, this is, this is how you need to clamp it. So anyways, now that I've said that, so normally, like I said, you're going to come through, you're going to allow for this natural angle change at the tip. Well, what you're gonna wanna do when you're wanting to blend it, is you're gonna wanna put pressure on this back edge. You can do so with your finger or like twisting your wrist a little to get the pressure. But you're gonna wanna put pressure on that back edge and you're gonna wanna ride it flat through here, through this curve and then then let it drop into the angle. Don't drop into the angle right at the curve. Ride it flat through there. By riding it flat through there, you're going to widen this just a little bit to e be even with that. But by doing it that way and keeping pressure on that back edge, in fact, you can keep pressure on the back, back edge a little bit all the way through on a few strokes and it'll make it wider here and it'll kind of taper um, into the rest of the bevel. So you won't notice it with the naked eye. If you took calipers and measured it, you'd see it, but it makes it look good. You can blend it without having to take too much metal off the tip in order to get it to look nice. Anyways, that's my tech tip for the day. Um, if you have any questions, comments, go ahead and drop them down below or hit me up on Facebook or something. I try to answer everyone. Like, subscribe, any suggestions. I'm always open to those. But I appreciate you. Thanks for watching.